Good day, students. Welcome to mathematics class. Our topics for today is equations involving fractions. That's the topic we want to discuss today. But based on this topic, we want to use LCM as a method. We normally deal with crossing the multiplication method, but this time I want to use LCM as a method. But let me just give us some examples. Solve the following equations. Number one, P equals 35 minus 3P all over 2. With this one, it is very easy for us to use cross multiplication. They want us to use the LCM method. In that LCM method, we all agree with me that 1 is a universal number and we can divide this one by 1. It has not changed this equation. And for us to get the LCM, what we are going to use is this. This one multiplied by 2 will also give me 2. So if it's giving me 2, I cannot use the LCM by multiplying each side here with the LCM, which is equal to 2. That is, the LCM equals 2. And on this note, since 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2, we will now use LCM equal to 2 to multiply each of this side here. You will agree with me that this one will now give me 2 into P over 1 equals 2 into 35 minus 3P, everything here, all over 2. It means those two we use to multiply this P, which this one will now give me 2P all over 1, it doesn't affect it any longer, equals this two and this one, we can cancel them. This one has gone. It means we are now having 35 minus 3p. At this juncture, we try to collect the like term. And how do we collect the like terms? We will try as much as possible to put the unknown together. That is, we will collect the like terms, which will now give me 2p. This one was minus 3p. By the time it crosses over equal sign, it becomes plus, plus 3p equals 35. 2p plus 3p will give me 5p equals 35. Since we are looking for p, we will now divide the coefficient of p with both sides. You agree with me that this one will give me 5p divided by 5, which 5 is the coefficient of p equals 35 divided by 5. You agree with me that this one will go. And on this note, 5 in 5, 1, 5 in 35 will give me 7. Therefore, P equals 7. That's our example number 1. P equals 7. And by the time you look at the equation from beginning, by the time you substitute the value of P to be equals what you have in the equation, it will definitely give us 7, which is the value of P. That is the example number 1. Let's take the other example our example number two. Number two 
expressions says 2x plus 5 everything all over 5 to be equals x minus 3 over 5 plus x over 2. On this note, you know, I told us that we are using the LCM method. Now, if you follow the example of number 1, I told us that we let's consider what we have here as a denominator to get our LCM. It means the LCM here will now be equals. This is 5. This is 5. This is 2. What can go in 5 as well as 5 and in 2, which is equals to 10? If that is the case, we multiply each of this one by the LCM. That is, I'm having 10 into 2x plus 5, everything all over 5, we close this bracket, to be equals 10 into x minus 3, all over 5, plus 10 into x over 2. 5, 1, 5 and 10, we give me 2. I'm now having 2 into bracket of 2x plus 5 to be equals 5 in 5, 1, 5 in 10, 2. 2 into x minus 3 plus 2 here, 1, 2 here, 5. That's 5 into x. At this juncture, we need to use this 2 to open this bracket. As long as this 2 is meant for everything in the bracket, not for this one alone. That is, 2 by 2x will give me 4x plus 2 by 5, 10, to be equals 2 by x, 2x by minus 3 will give me minus 6 plus 5 times x which is 5x and this one will give us 4x plus 10 to be equals 2x and 5x will give us 7x minus 6 and like where we did it in other time at this point let's try to collect the like term let's collect the like term that is collect the like terms it will give me 4x minus 7x because this plus 7x once it's cross over equal sign it becomes minus to be equals minus 6 this is plus 10 it goes to the other side too, becomes minus 10. So let's take away 4 out of 7x. This will give me minus 3x equals minus 16. And at this place, we need to divide by the coefficient of x, which is minus 3, both sides by minus 3. That is minus 3x over minus 3 to be equals minus 16 over minus 3. The minus will go, the 3 will also go. And in that wise, our answer here will give us positive value because the minus will also go. We are now left with x here to be equal to how many 3 can we find in 16? We are having 5. Remainder 1, that's 1 over 3. That's our answer, and that's all about example number two. Let me give one more example, and I'll give the assignment on that. Example number three. Example number three. The question can come directly like this from beginning. Two into, let's say, 4x plus 1 um, over 3. Probably, let me change the word x here. Let me use 
y. 4y minus 1, so that f will not be on x, equals 9 into what we have here, y plus 1, everything all over 4. On this note, you will agree with me that this one is having brackets from beginning. How do we do it? By using the LCM. You can do it in two ways. Number one, you can multiply this two through with the one that you have in the brackets. Or better still, let's work on the LCM from beginning. This is three and four. What can go in three and four that will get us the LCM? Three multiplied by four will give me 12. You will agree with me that the LCM of three and four equals 12. So I will multiply this place by 12, likewise this place by 12. So we are not having it in this format. 12 multiplied by this very 2 into 4y minus 1, everything all over 3, equals 12 multiplied by 9 into y plus 1 all over 4, and you close the bracket. 3 in 3, 1, 3 in 12, we give me 4. 4 in 4, 1, 4 in 12, we give me 3. You agree with me that 4 multiplied by 2 will give us 8. Will not give me 4y minus 1 equals 3 multiplied by 9, 27 into y plus 1. So let's try to open the brackets. 8 multiplied by 4y will give me 32y minus 8 multiplied by 1, 8 equals 27 multiplied by y, 27y plus 27 times 1, which is going to give me 27. The way we'll be doing in the past, by the time we get into this level, what we're going to do is that we'll try to collect the like terms. Let's try to collect the like terms. Collect the like terms. As we are collecting the like terms, this one will give me 32y. Bringing 27y to this place, it becomes minus 27y to be equals 27. This is minus 8. It becomes plus 8. When we take away 27 out of 32, this one will give me 5y to be equals 35. We'll try to divide both sides by 5. Divide both sides by 5. That's where we go. Therefore, y equals how many 5 can we find in that 35? 5 here, 1. 5 here will give me 7. y equals 7. Now, on this note, I want to call it a day, but before then, I would like to give us the assignment for the day. Our assignment for the day, and I will give us three questions as an, our assignment. Three questions, our assignment for the day. Um, Assignment. We we'll solve the following equations. Solve the following equations. We are to use the LCM. You know that's what we are discussing this day. We are not talking about cross multiplication. We've known that one in the past. That we are talking about this one. You are to use the LCM. Number one. R all over 2 to be equals 1 over 2 plus 2R all over 5. Question number 2. Okay. Number 2 says 2Y minus 8 over 5 plus Y plus 1 over 8. Everything equals to 
one. And the last one, let me say k minus two over seven minus five k minus three over three minus five everything to be equal to zero. So this is our assignment for the day. Have a nice day. Oh, oh, oh.